Hey everybody, last we talked I had just gotten an x-ray because I had strained my calf and when doing some soft tissue work on it felt a little something hard in there and I knew I needed to get it checked out. The x-ray showed that I had some bone growth in there, the crazy nose thumb looking thing. So anyway, the plan was is to then get an MRI and I did go get an MRI about a week later and I now have the results. The most important thing we were looking for on the MRI was the thickness of the cartilaginous cap on the little bone growth. If the cartilaginous cap was greater than two centimeters, then it could be a problem. The good news is that the thickness of the cap on the osteochondroma in my leg is only two millimeters long. So that is great news. So basically what that means is that this osteochondroma most likely has been there a very long time, could have been there maybe even 20 years, and I just never even realized it, and that it really hasn't given me any trouble until I strained my calf. And that's how most of these are discovered, actually. You injure yourself, and then when you go to get some tests to look at the injury, they also find these osteochondroma, these bone growths. And they're typically in long bones, like in your femur or in your humerus. The MRI also shows that I do have a calf strain with some mild swelling and some interstitial tearing. Ow! It does hurt. I did learn something from going through this calf strain injury, and that is that initially, rest is a lot more important than I thought it would be for this. I tried to kind of be a little more aggressive and stretch and do some strengthening, but making sure I did some rest was really the best thing, and that is really what has helped me progress. Even the physical therapist can learn something new sometimes. I am doing okay. I know you were worried. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.